man, former NFL superstar Antonio Brown, seems like he just threw a couple shots at Ryan Garcia in regards to all of the mess that Ryan Garcia announced and had going on on social media this weekend. We're going to talk about what Antonio Brown had to say. we also going to talk about Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, that whole situation. I want to give y'all my take on it. Did Ryan Garcia duck Devin Haney or did Devin Haney outprice himself? Before we get into this discussion, do me a favor. Make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub to the channel. Former NFL superstar Antonio Brown ain't got no filter. If you know Antonio Brown, you know exactly what I'm talking about. From going at Tom Brady's wife to going at Tom Brady himself relentlessly, man, uh, Antonio Brown is a whole character out here, if you know. And uh, man, he entertaining, if I can say the least. But Ryan Garcia been having a whole lot go on this past weekend. Now, we all thought that Ryan was fighting Devin Haney. He announced that he was in deep negotiations with Haney. Haney came back and confirmed that, and we thought we had a fight. Well, I ain't gonna say we, because I was kind of skeptical, and I let people know that a couple weeks ago before they even announced that they was gonna have a fight, and then I showed let people know that when they did announce that they was going to fight each other, I didn't believe it. But I'll get into that more later on in the video. Now, this past weekend, Ryan Garcia, man, like I said, he had a lot going on. First of all, he shocked the whole world and told us that he was no longer going to fight Devin Haney, that he was fighting Rolly Romero. Now, the thing about it, this is just two days after he told Rowley to respect the negotiations that he had going on with Devin Haney, that he wasn't fighting no Rowley. He was fighting Devin Haney and that Rowley had lost his chance because he took too long to respond to their offer. So he basically told Rowley to back the F up and he told him exactly what he should have told him because Rowley got a whole bunch of issues going on himself, right? Ryan was trying to fight him. Roley didn't respond. His team didn't respond. And then Roley came out and let everybody know that he was pretty much retiring from boxing, that he was having fun vacationing. He didn't feel like he wanted to get hit in the face no more. So I thought Roley was out the picture. Then as soon as Roley sees that Ryan Garcia is in deep negotiation with Devin Haney, here he come again. Now he want to make the fight. So that's why Ryan told him, look, dog, I'm not fighting you. You lost your chance, so back up. Now, with all that being said, man, it wasn't even a week until Ryan pulled out of the Devin Haney fight and said, come on, Rolly, I'm fighting you next. And then sends a message to his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, telling him, I don't want to fight Devin Haney no more. Please make the fight between me and Rolly happen. And I'm like, man, what the hell is going on with Ryan? But y'all remember, Ryan did this same exact thing with Javante Davis years ago. Everybody thought him and Tank was going to fight. And then he announced that, nope, he wouldn't fight in Tank. He was going to fight Manny Pacquiao. And he kind of trolled Tank. You know what I'm saying? Like, ha ha, nah, nah, boo boo. Pacquiao is a much bigger fight than you. Which, Pacquiao was a bigger fight. But that didn't go through. So he was left out in the wind. But then right after he announces that he's pulling out of the Devin Haney fight to fight Rolly Romero. Ryan Garcia comes right behind that with some shocking news that took all of his fans by surprise. He came out and he announced that he just had gave birth to a baby boy. But then right after that, he come out and he announced something else. I ain't gonna lie. It shocked me because for one, I didn't know he was married. But that's not the announcement that he made. That man came out and announced that he was getting a divorce. Now, all of this news coming back to back to back to back, everybody has something to say about it. And Antonio Brown was one of the ones that had something to say about it. If y'all can see it right here, Antonio Brown says, has a baby, announces divorce, cancels super fight with Haney, announces Roley as next fight, wild 24 hours, social media boxer 
So the timeline, I don't know if it was right, but like I said, Ryan had a whole lot of shit going on. But the thing that I noticed is AB, AB liked to throw shots. He liked to get under people's skin and he called Ryan Garcia a social media boxer, right? Now, Ryan Garcia, he can look at that as disrespect because, you know, let's just keep it real. A lot of people call him a TikToker, an Instagrammer, a social media boxer. Ryan Garcia won 15 national championship titles in the amateurs, had a record of 215 wins and 15 losses. He actually fought Devin Haney six times in the amateurs and they split it up three and three. So Ryan Garcia was a very accomplished amateur fighter. And then Ryan Garcia, man, um, the only fight that he's lost in the professional ranks is to Javante Davis. And more than half of the boxing world, they say that Tank Davis is the best fighter from 130 to 140 pounds, even though he only fought at 140 once. So, I mean, is it bad losing to Tank? So, I mean, I feel that you got to give more respect to Ryan Garcia than calling him a social media boxer. But then again, he acts like a social media boxer because he always got a whole bunch of drama and gossip going on on social media. Look at all the events that he just announced this weekend. Need I say more? Now, Ryan pulling out of the Devin Haney fight and fighting Roley, this is my thoughts on that. First of all, I'm not surprised because for one, Ryan did an interview that I talked about right before his last fight. And he told the world that he's not ready to take on fights like Devin Haney in the bigger names at 140 pounds yet. He says that he wants to get about two or three more fights in and then he will go fight Devin Haney. He said it would be stupid for him to jump right into a fight with Devin. But he also said that he would love to fight somebody like Roly. Now, that was just like a month ago. So when he announced that he was fighting Devin Haney, I said, man, it ain't no way. And people was on my helmet telling me, well, he can have a change of hearts. Maybe he got his confidence back from his last fight that he had with Oscar Dorte. I said, all right, well, we'll see. So the whole time that they made this announcement that him and Devin was going to fight, in the back of my mind, I knew he wasn't going to fight Devin because of the comments that he made. And my whole point is like, what is going to change his mind? Him going and knocking out a fighter like Oscar Dorte, a completely different stylistic fighter than Devin Haney, that ain't going to change his mind. And I feel that he also felt that he needs more time training with Derrick James. They've only had one fight together. But as soon as I saw Ryan hanging out with Floyd Mayweather, and then he said that Floyd Mayweather was just giving him advice on his career and him and Floyd were real close and, and all of that. I knew it wouldn't go be no Devin Haney fight from that point on. You know what I'm saying? I knew it wasn't going to be no Devin Haney fight. Not that Floyd has anything to do with the business, but Floyd is definitely going to advise him. Why would you fight Haney right now? when you could probably make more money fighting Roly, and it's a much easier fight than Haney. That's how I felt. But it's always two sides to the story. Now, Haney was pissed off about the shit. He like, man, don't ever mention my name again. And I kind of felt Haney, but I still needed to get the full story. And Ryan Garcia, he just came out and he explained his side and he says that Devin and Bill was basically trying to act like they was the A side. They didn't want to concede and be the B side. Now, that's what Ryan Garcia is saying. And honestly, you got two different stories, you know, because of course, Devin and Bill just going to act like that Ryan flat out ducked him. And that's Ryan's side of the story. And I really don't know, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? I never thought that Ryan was going to fight Devin in the first place. So I was surprised when he announced that he was going to fight Devin and I couldn't believe it. Now, on the other end, Devin Haney and them, when I heard them talking, they do be acting like they the A side to everybody. I mean, shit, they was acting like they was the A side to Javante Davis. Telling Tank what weight he was going to fight at and they wouldn't go take no rehydration clause and Tank was going to have to do this and that. 
And I'm like, bro, you're not the A side. And then said that they was the face of boxing and all of that. And Tank wasn't the face of shit. And it's like, man, all of that is to me, it's just silly shit going back and forth between everybody, honestly, because I'm just interested in seeing all these dudes get in the ring and fight each other. But the business does matter. You know what I'm talking about? And my whole thing is, yeah, Ryan Garcia made a smart move. He made a smart move because Roly is a much easier fight. Devin is not a pay-per-view star. That's another thing that they came at Devin with saying that he only did 30K thousand pay-per-view buys. I don't know if that's true or false, but he ain't no pay-per-view star. And when Roly got with Tank, Tank did his second highest pay-per-view with Roly Romero. So Roly can sell pay-per-views. And Roly and Ryan might sell more than Devin and Ryan. It might. You know what I'm talking about? I can't see into the future, but Roly can talk. And so as far as a business standpoint, right? And just making a smart move, because we know, man, boxing is like 90% <laughs> business in 10% competition these days. It's about who can make the right moves, who can have the best matchmaking and all of that, man, to put you on the top. And so when you look at it that way, Ryan made the right decision for his career because he went out there and lost to Devin Haney. Then when nobody gonna take him serious, even though that Devin's a hell of a fighter, people's gonna put him in the back of the line, look at him like he was a joke. So yeah, man, go out there and get your bag with Roley. I just don't like how he did it, right? I don't like that you deep in negotiations and then you just abruptly pull out of the fight because you get advice from Floyd Mayweather, if that's the case. Now, if the case is that Devin and them, they was trying to act like that they was the boss and they didn't want to concede the A-side to Ryan Garcia, well, that's what they get because Ryan is the A-side. Unfortunately, boxing is like that. It goes off of how much you can sell, you know, how many pay-per-views you did and all of that. So it is what it is, man. People going to disagree. Some people going to agree. But let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure that y'all hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel. And you already know how I do. Dango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. The interior is hater me. Chalkboard material. Get it? Didn't fuck it.